Here are eight celebrities with the dumbest life decisions. Number eight, Ryan Lochte. Did you guys know that Ryan Lochte is a 12 time Olympic medalist? He's actually got six gold, three silver, and three bronze medals, which ranks him second in swimming behind Michael Phelps. I bet not many people know that, but what I bet most people actually do know is the fact that he's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. In 2016, Lochte generated international controversy when he falsely claimed that he and three other American swimmers were robbed by armed locals with police badges during the Rio Summer Olympics. On the morning of August 14, 2016, Lochte and Jimmy Fegan said that they and teammates Gunnar Bentz and Jack Conger were robbed in Rio de Janeiro after men forced them out of their taxi at gunpoint in the early morning hours. But what really happened was captured on surveillance video. A police report also emerged that confirmed what really happened. The robbery wasn't a robbery at all. The security guard on duty did brandish a gun at the athletes, but it's because these idiots vandalized the gas station bathroom. Lochte basically admitted in an interview that he had been drunk and that he, quote, over-exaggerated that story. He initially claimed that money was taken from him, but it was later clarified the money was offered as repayment for the alleged vandalism. In August 2016, Lochte was charged with providing a false claim of a robbery during the 2016 Olympic Games. The scandal gained significant media attention and embarrassed the host city, angered the police and government, and dominated news coverage of South America's first Olympics. Obviously, Lochte lost millions in endorsements because of his drunken, idiotic decisions. On July 2017, the court in Brazil dismissed the charges against Lochte, although the prosecutors can still choose to appeal the dismissal. Number 7. Charlie Sheen on November 17, 2015, Charlie Sheen publicly revealed that he was HIV positive, having been diagnosed roughly four years earlier. He manages his condition with a triple cocktail of antiretroviral drugs and said that it was impossible that he could have infected any of his partners. Really? Impossible. One source indicates that Sheen had over 200 sexual partners after he learned he had HIV. Sheen stated that he was upfront about his HIV positive condition with all of his partners. However, in June 2017, Charlie Sheen was hit with yet another lawsuit by a woman who claimed she had unprotected sex with the star after he concealed his HIV diagnosis from her. According to the court documents, the woman, who only identifies herself as Jane Doe, met Sheen in September 2015 and stated that before engaging in sexual activity with the actor, she asked point blank if he had any STDs. The suit claims that Sheen insisted he was fine and that she needed to trust him. That's just wrong, but then again, what would you expect from a dude like Charlie Sheen? The woman then said that she and Sheen had protected sex over the next two months until October 2015 when they engaged in unprotected sex. Immediately afterwards, she recalls that Sheen stepped out of the room to smoke a cigarette and upon returning, threw a bag of pills on the bed and informed her he was HIV positive. That's just such a ridiculous story, but then again, it's Charlie Sheen. Sheen himself said that since 2011, he had paid extortionists approximately $10 million to keep his HIV status secret. Number 6. Shia LaBeouf Actor Shia LaBeouf has come a long way since his poverty-stricken childhood growing up in Los Angeles. However, LaBeouf's behavior has become increasingly erratic and unpredictable. Just as an example, back in May 2014, LaBeouf got banned from LA restaurant The Local Peasant for pissing on a wall. The restaurant's manager became suspicious after the actor spent so much time outside the back and then followed him outside to catch him in the act. In one of his more bizarre incidents in June 2014, he chased a homeless man demanding he hand over his McDonald's bag. A video of the incident was later released. While there was never a consensus for the reason, a witness said that it really just seemed that he, quote, really wanted to eat some french fries. LaBeouf was later arrested for causing a disturbance during a Studio 54 theater performance of Cabaret. The actor started slapping random people on their heads and had to be given a mask when he refused to stop spitting at people. He was arrested again earlier this year, in January 2017, for misdemeanor assault and a harassment violation after getting in a scuffle during a rally against Donald Trump. Later in July 2017, 
LaBeouf was arrested in Savannah, Georgia for public drunkenness, disorderly conduct, and obstruction. The Chatham County Sheriff's Office released him after he posted a $7,000 bond, and LaBeouf later apologized for his remarks, citing his alcohol addiction as the reason for his outburst. Number 5. Katy Perry Getting lost in hair dyes, wrong statements, and songs no one really likes, these are a few of Katy Perry's dumbest life decisions. Okay, maybe her songs are actually still popular, but let's not kid ourselves with her hairstyle and political statements. In February 2017, she announced on Twitter that this is her era of purposeful pop after the release of her reggae-tinged, socially conscious first single, Chained to Rhythm. But really, it's her political views that's the most interesting decision she could make. When the Manchester attack in England happened, social media mocked pop singer Katy Perry for politicizing the terror attack and using the horrific event to promote a liberal agenda. According to the pop star, she really thinks love is the answer. Apparently, we should all just unite and love each other. No barriers, no borders, no anything. Just coexist together. Yeah, that's like hoping and wishing for money without doing anything. It doesn't work. Perry made another dumb move in June 2017 when she led her fans into a therapy session that touched on, well, everything. While her new pixie is certainly a hot trend right now, it turns out that her cut happened for a different reason. For Perry, her series of short haircuts wasn't all about keeping cool in the summer or staying in the latest fashion. Instead, cutting her hair was a way for her to connect with the person she wants to be, her authentic self, whose real name is Catherine Hudson. Slowly losing touch with reality over time, I guess that's the price of being a celebrity. Number 4. O.J. Simpson Everyone knows O.J.'s story, and really everyone pretty much knows that O.J. did it. Which is why O.J.'s robbery of Bruce Fromong, a sports memorabilia dealer, has to go down as one of the dumbest decisions on this list. If he got caught again with the law for anything, most likely that judge is going to give Simpson as much as they can to dish justice on Simpson. Vermont testified that a group of men, led by Simpson, broke into his hotel room at the Palace Station Hotel in Las Vegas and stole various sports memorabilia at gunpoint. Simpson's group stuffed O.J. Simpson's memorabilia along with autographed Pete Rose baseballs and Joe Montana lithographs into pillowcases. I mean, how much money is this stuff really worth? How much would something like this have to be worth to go to prison? Simpson was found guilty of all 10 charges in the case. Simpson was sentenced to 33 years in prison with eligibility for parole in nine years. Surprisingly, even with the stiff sentence, Simpson was actually granted parole on July 20th, 2017, and he's eligible for release as early as October 1st, 2017. Number 3. Aaron Hernandez In case you guys didn't know, Aaron Hernandez used to be a tight end in the NFL. He had just signed an extremely lucrative contract in 2012 with the Patriots, which basically had him set for life. However, during the 2013 offseason, Hernandez was arrested and charged for the murder of Odin Lloyd, a semi-professional football player who was dating the sister of Hernandez's fiance. Lloyd's body was found in an industrial park about a mile from Hernandez's house with multiple gunshot wounds to the back and chest. In June 2013, police searched Hernandez's house for several hours in connection with the murder investigation. A few days later, Hernandez was taken by police in handcuffs and charged with first-degree murder. In April 2015, Hernandez was found guilty of first-degree murder, a charge that Massachusetts automatically carries a sentence of life in prison without a possibility of parole. He also was found guilty of five firearm charges. Just as a kicker, while on trial for Lloyd's murder, Hernandez was also indicted for a 2012 double homicide. However, he was found not guilty of the double homicide after a 2017 trial. On April 19, 2017, five days after Hernandez was acquitted of the 2012 double homicide, correction officers found Hernandez hanging by his bedsheets from his window in his cell in an apparent suicide. Number 2. Tila Tequila Okay, the first question really should be, is Tila Tequila really even a celebrity? But her strange tweets is really what gave her a spot on this list. She wished Adolf Hitler a happy birthday in a series of erratic tweets, but that's not the half of it. She also wished herself a happy birthday during her Twitter tirade as she proclaimed she was the reincarnation of the Nazi party leader. I mean, how good was whatever she had? 
She also mentioned that he was a good guy who tried to save his people, even though, quote, the reptilians won and made him bad. As the cherry on top of this crazy cake, she even retweeted a photo of Trump in a Nazi uniform. In 2013, she also posted a Facebook photo of herself wearing a swastika armband and Nazi uniform hat while holding a gun. And in 2015, she was booted off Celebrity Big Brother for her pro-Nazi views. In other confusing Twitter rant, she's also insisted the Earth is flat and that she was made immortal to save the world. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Number one, Usher. On July 19th, 2017, Documents leaked online claiming that Usher had been a carrier of the herpes virus since around 2009 or 2010 and that he infected a partner with the virus in 2012. The leaked documents state that Usher paid the woman's doctor bills and settled what's claimed to be a civil suit for $1.1 million. What's really dumb of him is that all he had to do is just disclose the fact that he had an STD before sex or basically just be a decent human being. He could have saved a ton of money and a lot of headaches and damage to his brand. Ever since the lawsuit came out, more women have come out of the woodworks. Another woman filed a $10 million lawsuit against Usher, claiming that he exposed her to the herpes virus without her knowledge or consent, which is actually a crime in certain states in the US. After testing positive for herpes, the woman increased her lawsuit to $20 million. But really though, how do we know that it's actually Usher's herpes? In August 2017, two women and a man accused the singer Usher of failing to warn them he had herpes before sex. Really? A dude too? That's news to me. The attorney representing the group that stated the musician had sexual contact with each of them after 2012, but didn't tell them he had STDs. The group is suing him for fraud, sexual battery, and infliction of emotional distress. Lawyer Lisa Bloom said that one of her three clients had gotten herpes from Usher. One of the accusers, Quantasia Sharpton, said she had unprotected sex with Usher after a concert she attended. Sharpton admitted that she tested negative for herpes and again, Usher didn't disclose. The outcome of this case actually presents an interesting dilemma. If you never get tested and you never know, then technically it's not a crime. Is the outcome of this case actually going to be a push for not getting tested for certain people? Here's what's next. There are YouTube sensations and then there are just YouTube idiots. The girls in this entry fall into the latter. Two Iranian girls posted a video of their car accident they had while singing karaoke and driving. The video went viral, but not because the fans of the vid are laughing with them.